Creating and Storing Presets If the preset voice bar note display is not currently displaying the preset label, press the preset button until it does so. To create a preset, you may simply edit the current preset or use the next and previous buttons to navigate to a new preset location. Access the various settings within a preset by pressing the corresponding button Tempo, Meter, Subdivision, Accent. Then adjust the value of that setting by rotating the value wheel. Tempo. Press the Tempo button one or more times to toggle between adjusting in whole number increments and one tenth increments. Tempo range is from 10 to 280 quarter notes per minute. Rotate the value wheel to change. Meter. Press the meter button one or more times to toggle between adjusting the beats per measure parameter, 1 through 12, and the beat value parameter, 2, 4, 8, 16. Rotate the value wheel to change. Subdivision. When the beat value parameter of the meter is adjusted, the subdivision will reset to the first subdivision in the list of available subdivisions for that meter, which is always one whole unsubdivided beat for that meter. Rotate the value wheel to change. Selectable values are always represented on the display as a correctly notated full beat of the selected meter. See Appendix A, Subdivisions. Accent Pattern When the beats per measure parameter of the meter is adjusted, the accent pattern will reset to no accent pattern. As the list of available accent patterns has changed, rotate the value wheel to change. You will notice the E icon will appear in the icon status display when you have changed a setting within a preset. This signifies that the preset has been edited but not yet stored. Navigating away from this preset will discard the changes you may have made and revert to the unedited preset. The E will disappear as the preset is no longer edited and all the changes have been lost. Once you are satisfied with the changes you have made to a preset, press the Store button. All settings on the LCD display will disappear leaving only a flashing preset label and a preset location number. At this point, you may choose a different location to save your new preset using the Previous and Next buttons, or you may continue to store the preset in its existing location. Pressing the Store button again will store the preset into the location you have chosen. The LCD display will return to its normal state and the E will no longer be displayed. Note, this makes it very easy to copy presets. Simply locate the preset you would like to copy, press Store, and choose a new location to copy it into. Navigate through your stored presets by using the Next and Previous buttons. Holding either button will gradually increase the rate of selection in the respective direction.